Sorry, I'm going to try. President on. Obama wouldn't hurt a fly. Get out of here. He wouldn't hurt it. He'd kill it. Nice. The buzz in the press was full of admiration. Oh, don't mess with him. And he's one for one. But he so got much. him. Everyone kept comparing it to the chopstick scene. Man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. From the Karate Kid. Hey, 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 Mr. Miyagi, look. Look at what they're calling the president, the human fly swatter, having a dirty, hairy moment. Go ahead. Make my day. I got the sucker. That sucker has become the most famous fly, dead or alive, on planet Earth. After the interview, the president bent over and picked the dead fly off with a napkin. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> star of the fly. I'd like to become the first insect politician. The macho fly swat bugged PETA. The animal rights group's reaction sounded like a fortune cookie proverb. He isn't the Buddha, he's a human being. And human beings have a long way to go before they think, before they act. Though Obama supporters do occasionally portray him as Buddha, during one of the presidential debates, a fly perched on then-Senator Obama's head and lived to buzz about it. Camps ...in the hills between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Now it's the web that's fly-infested with parody videos. Ninja parodies... <laughs> the last seconds of the Obama fly is seen through the fly's eyes. Get out. Another feature is a talking fly. Mom, did you see where Dad flew off to? And a touching send-off... From taps to Flight of the Bumblebee, captioned in Hungarian. But at least when the President of the United States kills a fly, he doesn't eat it. Unlike Chase the Fly-Eating Dog, maybe the human fly swatter could teach this to first dog, Bo. Genimos. CNN. New York.